My name is Mr. Ishengoma. Uh, today we are looking at algebra. And to be specific, um, we are going to be factorizing some questions. Remember, to factorize is to make some factors. To make factors. But how do we make the factors? Good. There are three methods which we use to make factors. That is um, uh, taking common factor out. That's one method. Another important method which we use, we take a difference of two squares. Okay, and the other most important one that is quadratic. Mm -hmm. we, we, we use the, the sum, the product, and factor method. On the questions which we have today, they will involve all of these three approaches, as we shall see. Now, to begin with, we have our number one question there. We have to factorize 12n square minus 4n minus 4m. So when you look at this question, that is 12n square minus 4m. So here we have some common factor. 12 and 4, we realize that we can take out 4. So let's take out 4. When you take out 4 on 12, we shall remain with 3 because 3 times 4 it takes us back to 12. And then we have our n square minus. When 4 goes out, then we are left with m alone. Then we check if we have another common factor to take out. So three, we don't have three this side. Uh, n, we don't have n this side. So meaning we don't have any other common factor. And this will be the end. So we have factorized by taking four out and then inside the bracket we are left with three n square minus m. Let's go to question two. When you look at question two, there, yeah. you do realize again, this side, we have some common factors, which are also this side. So let's put in our table so that we can take out the common factors. That is 21 PQ. So let's take the common factor out. When you look at 14, and when you look at 21, you do realize that both of them have a factor of seven. So 14 divided by seven, I'm left with a two and P square plus 21 divided by seven, I'm left with um, three P Q. Then we check again if we have another common factor. Two and three, they're not common, so they will remain. But P, and this idea of P, so we shall take out P. So when we are taking out P, here we shall be left with two P because this was P square, so we take out one P. And the second part, we shall be left with three and Q. So on what is remaining now, you'd realize nothing is common. So this means we took out seven P, and inside we are left with 2p plus 3q. That's how we factorize this question by taking out the common factors. Now let's look at question three. When you look at question three, also it has some common factors to take out. So let's take out the common factors. I have 12x squared plus 15xy minus yx. 
So first and foremost, all the numbers I have a factor of three. 12 divided by three, I get four, x squared. Plus 15 divided by three, I get five, x squared. Minus nine divided by three, I get three x. Then after taking the common number, I check if I have another common factor. And my other common factor is x. So I will take out x and I will be left with four x plus five y minus three. Then I'll check again if I have another common. So there I don't have common uh, factors. So my final answer would be three x out and inside I will be having four x plus five y minus three. So that's how we shall factorize question three. So now let's factorize question number four. So when you look at question four, again, I have common factor. This side here, I have this one, and the other side, I have this one. So that is my common factor. So if that's my common factor, that means I will have to take it out. X minus one square, then plus X minus one. So if I take my common factor out, my common factor will be X minus one. So this is X minus one square. So when I take X minus one, that means I'll be left with one X minus one. The other one has gone out. This side, when I take X minus one, means all is gone. So I'll be left with one number because normally the, uh, there is a one here which is hidden. So when I take out this, I'll be left with the remaining uh, one. So when I check now, this side, I don't have a common. But when I look at what is inside, I can simplify it. So I have to open a bracket. So I get 3x minus 3 plus 1. And finally, it will be 3x minus 2 because of minus 3 plus 1. So outside, I will be having x minus 1. Inside the bracket, I will be having 3x minus 2. And these are my two, my two factors. Good. Let's go to question number five. When you look at question number five, it does not have common factors. There's no common factor here and here. That, that means we are now going to be having difference of two squares because uh, 25 is a square number and that is five square and minus y square. So normally once you have uh, five square minus y square, this symbolizes that you have got difference, difference is minus of two square, that is five square and uh, y square. So simply once you have got difference of two squares, so we shall take the base of this side and we shall take the base of that side. We shall give the bracket for plus and the bracket for minus. So that basically what we have done is we have taken the square root of here and the square root of there. So five and y. So this gives us our final answer on difference of two squares. That will be five, plus y as one bracket and five minus y as our second bracket. So that's how we uh, deal with the question of uh, difference of uh, two squares. Now let's go to question six. But when you look at question six, we have common factors. Here and there, we have common factor. And uh, the factor is a two. So when I take a two out, here I'll be left with nine, uh, W square. Minus, when I take two out, I'll be left with uh, 100. So now when you look at what is inside, we don't have common factor anymore. But we have a minus here and we have a square number there. 
square number here and the square number there, which becomes like three W, all of it squared, uh, minus 10 squared. And then outside the bracket, we have our, we have our two. So this is difference of two squares, right? So we shall take the square root of this side here and the square root of that side, that will give us uh, three W and this side will be 10. So we shall take the two and give two brackets. That is three W plus 10. And the second bracket will be uh, three W minus 10. And don't forget, we have two outside, so we shall bring back the two here. And this is how we shall have factorized question number, number six. Let's go to question number seven. Also, when you look at question number seven, you would realize that here we have a square number because we have this square, this is square there. And also this side, we have a square number because we have this square. And in the middle, if you check properly, we have a minus. So also this is difference of two squares. So basically, we shall take the square root of this side, square root of this, and also we shall take the square root of this side. So we shall take m plus two, and this will be uh, adding to m minus one. Remember, this will be a first bracket. This will be a first bracket. Then we have also to write our second bracket. And the second bracket will be m plus two minus m minus one. So this is our expansion for the difference of two squares. So we have to go ahead and simplify the brackets. So remember, I have two brackets, that bracket and this bracket. So I have to go ahead and simplify inside. So I open the inside brackets, I get m plus two plus m minus one. And this side, I get m plus two minus m plus one, because minus and minus, I get positive. Good, so now I have to simplify this bracket and I have to simplify this bracket. So while I'm simplifying the bracket, m plus m, I'll get two m, two minus one, I'll get plus one. And this side, m minus m, it will go off, they'll die. Then two plus one, I'll get a three. So basically, those are my two factors. I have a three out and inside I have 2m plus 1. So that's how we shall have factorized that, uh, that question. Let's go to question number eight. When you look at question number eight, it is equally splitted, one, two, three, four factors. So in order for me to factorize this, the first step, I will split them into two. Then I'll go to one side, here, I will look at the common factor A, I will keep outside. Inside, I have X plus Y. And I go to this side, my common is B. So positive B out, inside I have X plus Y. So once the inside part here is the same as this side, very good, then I will only take what is outside the two brackets to form one bracket and the other two brackets, which are exactly the same, they give me the second bracket. Hence, I have factorized. So I'll write my first factor as A plus B, and my second factor as X plus Y. This is how we shall factorize that kind of expression. Again, I have a similar expression. I will do the same approach, split into two parts. I go this side, take out what is common, and my common is P. So inside I have M plus N. And I go to this side, take out what is common. I have two things which are common. I have minus six, which is common with minus six. Then also I have um, Q, which is common with Q. 
So I'll go ahead and I keep out minus six Q and I'll be leaving out inside M plus N. Hence, I will put what is outside as one bracket. And remember, the two, this one and this one is the same. So I will keep it as the second bracket. That is M plus N. Hence, my final answer will be P, 6Q, and M plus N. Okay. Now, number 10, we have three factors. So my first job, I have to split the middle factor. I have to split this middle factor. And in order to split it, I have to use what we call sum, product, and factor. So when I'm using sum, product, factor, so my sum is always the middle value, and that is three. My product is always the value here times the value here. The value here, we call it A, and the value here, we call it C. So A times C, so when I multiply the two here, since it's not given, means there is a one. So one times negative 28, I will get minus 28. So after getting minus 28, then I have to look at two numbers. When I multiply, they give me 28, but when I should add them, they should give me three. So I have to get the pairs which I can multiply. Remember, in order to get 28, I can multiply one times 28, or I can multiply two times 14, or I can multiply uh, four times seven. So to get the two pairs, definitely one will be a seven and the other will be four. But I need to get positive three. So, and this is minus. So one number must be minus and the small number is the one that should be minus. So after getting these two factors, so now I can go ahead and split the middle factor as follows. So x squared plus 7x minus 4x minus 28. So here I have splitted the two factors. And now I have four parts like that. So this side, I will take out what is common. And here, what is common is x. So x squared, I will be left with x plus 7. And this side, what is common is minus 4. So inside, I'll be left with x plus 7. So because the brackets here is exactly the same as the bracket here, then we shall take what is outside, that is x minus 4 as our first answer, and what is inside, x plus 7 as our second answer. Now let's factorize our last uh, question for tonight, for now. Good. We said we look for the sum, we look for the product, and we look for the factor. So here, when I look properly, my sum is negative 9. So I keep here negative 9. My product will be 4 times 2. That will give me 8. So I need to look for two numbers when I multiply get 8. And that is 1 times 8, because 2 times 4 will not add to 9. But because the sum is negative and my product is positive, so the two numbers have to both be negative. Because negative 1 times negative 8, I get positive 8. Negative 1 plus negative 8, I get um, negative 9. So I will have to use these two factors to split this middle part here. And when I split it, I'll get 4x squared. Then I bring this minus 8x minus 1x and plus 2. Then after splitting, I cut in the middle. This side, I have 4, which is common. So 4 is common. And also x is common. I will be left with 1x there. And here, I'll be left with uh, minus 2. This side 
if you check properly, my common is minus one. So if I take minus one out, I will be left with minus two inside. Why? Because uh, if you know that, to get this positive is the same as minus and minus. So if I take out one minus, if I take out one minus, then this other minus will remain here. Because we know positive is the same as minus and minus. Then, because the inside now is the same here and here, we shall conclude what is outside, that is 4x minus 1 as one bracket, and what is inside, that is x minus 2 as the second bracket. We have looked at 11 questions that we are guiding us on how to factorize. And basically, we use three methods of factorization. The first one which we used, that was um, taking out common factor. We took, out, we took out common factors. The second method which we used, that was a difference of two squares. That was uh, two squares. And the third one, which we have just used in the last two questions, and that is sum product factor method. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Ishengoma.